as a member of the United States Senate. McConnell's actually got a fairly decent voting record, and he's been absolutely fantastic on First Amendment issues. Now, has he been the kind of leader that I want him to be? Well, no, but you know what? Uh, he's a heck of an improvement over Harry Reid. Are there some things I would like him to do? Yeah, uh, not the least of which is I don't want him to take the threat of a government shutdown off the table because, as any professional negotiator will tell you, you don't take your strongest tool off the table uh, when you're starting to negotiate with but somebody. But wouldn't that be a negative, though, because the American people were so sick and tired of it the last time it happened? Wouldn't that just be the potential of a disaster for the Republicans and the Tea Party if that gets pushed forward and happens? Well, you know, in the in the fall of, November, uh, of 2013, the government shut down. And we were told this will be a disaster for the Republicans. The Republicans will be wiped out. The election will look like Custer's last stand for the Republicans. The Republicans flipped the Senate and now have the largest majority they have had in the United States House of Representatives since the days of Harry Truman. So, A, I think the threat of what how the public is going to react to a government shutdown is vastly overrated. And B, I think the big loser from the government shutdown was not the Republicans and was not the Tea Party. It was Barack Obama and the Democrats. I got about a minute left, and we're going to take a break and come back. But two quick questions in. If indeed it comes to that, then would you advocate shutting down the government again? Uh, it depends on what the circumstances are. And I, and I know that's kind of a vague answer, but it really does depend on why we're pushing a government shutdown. If there are good, if there is good cause to do so, I say absolutely. Uh, if there's not good cause, then let's look at our other options. What would be good cause? Uh, Barack Obama imposing amnesty. Barack Obama bringing Ebola patients, non-American Ebola patients, to this country. Uh, those are a couple of examples that jump right off the top of my head. So if the president pushes forward the executive order, you would say absolutely, in your opinion at least, shut down the government as revenge or as an answer? No, if, if Barack Obama pushes forward with executive amnesty, defund the government, or at least defund that part of it, and if he vetoes that bill, then if fine, at that point, shut it down.